And there, look, this is a bit of a bonus. The Shetland, the Shetland Pony Race at Bath. Bit of a heat haze there, looks like some of those are the runners. And there we are, Kilshane Armand, Olivia Hutchings, they're going to get mentioned. The, the Hutchins, Hutchings family are there in force. They've got Fordley Sophia, Alverscroft Select and Alverscroft Sir Harry for Bella Heel and Darcy Selman. Nick's Perfect Pete, I'm not commentating, George Gregory, Cormoran Cousin Jack, Amelia Tanner, and Olivia Stiles, Horning Glow, Crummock Water. And it won't be that long. They're going down at Down Royal, but I think we're going to be in action very soon at Bath. Our commentator, luckily, he loves these races, specialises in these. And um, Ian Bartlett is the man at Bath, and just wondered what impressed him going down to post in. <laughs> Hello, Sir Robert. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, the starter just briefing them. One or two uh, of the Shetlands getting the final preparations uh, down at the start. Three furlongs is going to be, seven of them. A few of these riders are riding in these for the first time. Fordley Sophia's an odds on chance, so she's one of the three greys. Dark blue jacket, red and yellow hoops on the sleeves. Starter is ready. They're about to come forward into line. Cormoran, Cousin Jack, and the orange and blue hoops just having to be led up. Here they come. Three furlong pole. The starting point. They walk up to the start. And they're off. They get away. Kill Shane Ormond is the first of them to lead. Off towards the right with the blue cap. The favourite, Fordley Sophia's about one from the left. Dark jacket, red and yellow hoops on the sleeves. Nick's perfect. Peter's on the extreme left. The light blue jacket in behind that in red. Alverscroft select as they already head down towards halfway. Horning Glow, Crummick Waters off towards the right with the red sleeves. Then Cormoran Cousin Jack in the hoops of blue and red. And the back marker is Alverscroft Sahavi. But this one to two chance, Fordley Sophia. Sophia is clear with Tilly Hutchings now heads down towards the final furlong and is a 20 length leader already second position at the moment is Nick's perfect Pete but with about a hundred yards to go it's Tilly Hutchings on Fordley Sophia the odds on favorite who's going to win by yards not lengths this is absolutely bolted up Fordley Sophia's at the winning post now Cormoran cousin Jack has moved through to take second place kill Shane Norman will be in third a race for fourth it's going to go to Horning Glow, come up water over Nick's Perfect Pete, followed in by Alverscroft Select, and Alverscroft Sir Harry is making his way towards the winning post, which he gets to now. Well, that was great. Tilly Hutchings, well done. She, like a pro, looked up at the big screen to see how far clear she was. Fordley Sophia got a 16 to 1 quote for the King's Stand. Let's have a look at the head on. Don't think there's going to be any inquiry here. It's winning too easily. Look at that. Striding out. The odds on favourite. They know. They know in all forms of racing. A good thing. Rat loving this fast ground. And Tilly going for all she's worth. Second was just being overtaken for second place was Nick's perfect Pete. George Gregory did well. And Amelia Tanner has finished second, one right at the back. But look, it's all about taking part, isn't it? One more shot. I hope someone at home of the Hutchings family is recording that. Looks, he glanced, look, look, looks up at the big screen there. Beautiful little pony. Well done her, Tilly Hutchings, fantastic. That's, got bank holiday off to a good start.